again, we've got some very inspirational volunteers with us. They're from Civil Radio. How are you guys doing tonight? All right. Maybe introduce yourselves and tell us what you guys do. I'm Johnny Kamatudis, a.k.a. CFVL Radio DJ Johnny K, and I host the Vinyl Spinner Show, noon to 3 p.m. every Wednesday. Angie Reid, I host Lace and Leather, Civil's metal and punk show that airs Fridays at 4 o'clock. I be legend, Sweet Papa Chuck, and the Boogity Shoe Blues Show every Wednesday, 8 until 10, CIVL 101.7 FM. I love your guys' voices. We could just have pictures going through, and you guys have such animated voices. So what made you want to be a DJ? Well, years and years ago, back when it was going to CD, I was like, hey, we need more DJs still using the art of vinyl. So I became a vinyl spinning DJ. Then I heard about CFVL Radio starting up. Back then, it didn't even have a name yet. And I said, hey, i got to do a show spinning vinyl. So you definitely live by this motto on your t-shirt here? That's right. And honestly, I have nothing against people who know what they're doing with their digital DJ stuff. It's, It's the wave of the future. It's what's happening right now. But I'm just sick and tired of all these punks who get their 100,000 illegal downloads from the internet. They have a laptop with an auto mixing program and they think just because they have 100,000 illegal downloads and an auto mixing program, they're a DJ. So keeping it old school is where it's at. Maybe, at least in my case. (laughs) So tell us a little bit about your show on the radio. Well, it's a metal and punk radio show. I try to keep it as much music as possible. Um, I was sort of inspired by the fact that you listen to most radio stations and all you hear is them talking and goofing around or contests and I'm like, you know what, I'm listening for music, not to hear you guys fooling around, so I do the odd interview on my show, generally with a metal or punk band. Um, Tomorrow night though I'll be doing an interview with the Langley Renaissance Fair director and owner, so that'll be a change up, we'll see how that goes. (laughs) Yeah, cool, I know, you guys are so cool, you know, keeping it what radio should be, is music. And how about yourself, what do you do, what is your show about? I do the blues, I do the real thing. Ain't no recycled stuff on my show. You start off with Muddy Waters, you go to Sunhouse Charlie Patton, and you end up with the real thing. None of this English stuff. It's all the real thing, right from the Delta. And you guys are all volunteers, so what made you want to volunteer at a radio station? At the time, I really had nothing else better to do. But uh, now that I do have somewhat of a good job, and um, I have the passion, so... Hey, why not have a radio show? And I want to be famous one day, and it will happen. It will happen. Starting on Close Luck, right? Starting on Close Luck, yes. Yes, indeed. So how about yourself? What makes you want to volunteer on the radio? I was young and naive. <laughs> no, um, what happened was I was a first-year student at UFV, and I was wandering the halls, and they everywhere you went, there was posters saying, we want volunteers, we want DJs, and... Ever since I was a little kid, I always thought, you know, hey, DJ, that's something I could be when I grow up. So I said, you know what, jump in, take the plunge, and just try it out, see how you like it. And I've been there ever since. (laughs) And how about you? Why do you volunteer? Um, I've been laying down the blues ever since I was a kid. I'll lay it down anytime, anywhere, for any reason. And uh, I think blues is uh, the best music known to mankind. I like music in general, and I'll go anywhere, but blues is what's close to my heart. So what do you guys do apart from radio? Well, I take pizza orders, and it's my passion as well. I like to work at a call center where people around me just take pizza orders, and we have a really great time. But if you're passionate about it, then hey, everybody loves pizza, right? Well, yeah. That You know what? I, 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 I can't say that pizza is the greatest thing in the world. I'm not even allowed to eat pizza anymore. But, you know, I enjoy being around people. That's one thing I've learned. Being with the radio, I've actually unlocked something within me. I didn't know that I was a good people person. But now apparently I am, so I'm, I'm going with it. And I'm going to be famous. And how about yourself? What do you do apart from radio? School. I'm just finishing off my Bachelor of Arts at the moment. And job hunting is the other big one. It's like, okay, we're getting to the end. Time to find a career. Or hope it's a career. <laughs> so what do you want to pursue? I'm actually looking into promotional work, or at least trying, but it's competitive and what have you. But really, I'm really open-ended. Wherever I'm going to be happy, I'll be happy. So where do you guys see yourselves in five to ten years? Do you still want to be doing radio no matter what you're doing? 
Yeah, five to ten years from now, just going by my past track record, I see myself still working in the call center and doing a three-hour radio show every Wednesday afternoon. Maybe being famous. So there's a lot of youth out there that are maybe aspiring DJs. Do you have any words of wisdom for them? Don't be a coward. That's, I keep hearing all these people, oh, well, I thought about it, but, you know, I'm so afraid. I'm normally a very shy person, and you know what? You're just sitting in a little box talking into a microphone. It's not that scary, so if you want to do it, just do it. Don't let anyone or anything influence that decision but you. Great. So if uh, anybody wanted to listen to you guys, where can they catch you? 101.7 FM or on the internet at www.civil.ca. So I'll definitely encourage all you guys to check it out, and I wish all of you the best in the future. Thank you. Thank you.